Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So let's continue with this video. So finally the wait is over. Compose multi-platform for iOS is stable now. What? Yes, you heard it right. Compose multi-platform for iOS is stable and production ready. It means you can start building production ready apps for iOS and Android both using the Compose multi-platform. That's cool, right? So, the Compose Multi-Platform version 1.8.0 is released and now Compose Multi-Platform for iOS is stable and production ready. You can check out this blog. So, all the libraries mostly are like coming to the stable stage. That's why it becomes stable. So, mostly what happens is whenever all important libraries, core libraries becomes stable, then that platform support becomes stable. So here are a few large scale apps they have mentioned which are using Compose Multi-Platform. Okay. So they have mentioned many things here like performance, startup time is comparable to native apps using the Compose Multi-Platform. First frame arrives just as fast. Scrolling performance is on par with Swift UI. Compose Multi-Platform adds only 9 MB to the size of an iOS app compared to a fully native Swift UI app. So these are some things which you can look into okay so that's cool so now is the right time to get started with compose multi-platform if you are thinking of using it for the production though it was while it was in the beta it was also fine but now it's officially stable so now you can using it for your production ready app so in this compose multi-platform 8.0 we have few other changes as well these are the, some changes related to the ios you see the special changes were related to the iOS and then they discuss the performance then few overview of this how to like this this is structured then beyond mobile so basically in compose multi-platform 8.0 navigation library now supports back and forward buttons as well it means these buttons will also work with the compose navigation and we can specify routes as well so it's becoming more native for the web right so you ideally in the web you see these routes if you go back if you go forward these things they will also be working with the compose multi platform now so it's now enhancing for web as well okay that's cool really cool so you can check out full changes here what are the new changes in 1.8.0 okay so now the question is for those who are completely new who don't know about this what is cmp compose multi-platform and what is even kotlin multi-platform we will discuss about those few things and then finally we will discuss about the roadmap about how you can get started because this video is about that like now production ready compose multi-platform iOS support is now production ready and how you can get started that's the big question okay we will discuss everything here so basically Compose Multi-Platform is a technology which is used for developing apps for multi-platform. Okay. Open source technology by JetBrain for multi-platform development. Okay. If you see, so your application can run on iOS, Android, Mac OS, Windows, Linux and more. Web. Even server code. You can share code between all these platforms. Android, iOS, web, desktop, server. Okay, that is the Kotlin multi-platform. So it has multiple options how you can go with the Kotlin multi-platform. So you can just share a simple piece of logic. Okay, you see, just sharing a simple piece of logic, you can reuse that between multiple platforms. Second can be just share complete logic, all the business logic, and UI can be native. Suppose, for example. In the Android, you can keep the UI native using Jetpack Compose or the core XML based UI. Or in the Swift UI, you can, sorry, in the iOS, you can use the Swift UI. And business logic, all the API calls, core classes, everything, you can keep that in the Kotlin multi platform module. Third part is sharing complete code. So you don't need to write any code in the iOS. Everything will be shared, business logic, UI, everything using the Compose multi-platform. 
so that's where compose multi platform comes in how we can share ui between multiple platforms using the compose multi platform so basically compose multi platform is a ui framework for sharing the ui in kotlin multi platform between all platforms okay so if you see these are some case studies you can go through them mcdonald's and gag Quizlet, netflix philip they have adopting they have adopted the kotlin multi platform So now let's move on to the Compose Multi Platform. So basically, what is Compose Multi Platform? It, it is a UI framework based on the UI app development kit from Jetpack Compose. You see, Jetpack Compose is a Kotlin-based uh, Kotlin UI kit for Android app development. That is the declarative UI kit. Traditionally, we were using the XML for Android development, but now we can use the Jetpack Compose. That is the declarative UI, similar to the Flutter, React, other framework, right? So, native field, if you see, Compose Multi Platform del delivers native quality UI. They look like native UIs. Okay. Smooth scrolling, responsive UIs, port reload. These are some of the few features available in Compose Multi Platform. Okay. So, this is about the introduction. Now, the question is how we can get started? So, if you see in this, it's official documentation as well. We have all beginner ready tutorials. If you see, if you want to like just share the logic and keep the UI native, you can go on with this. If you want to share both logic and UI, you can go on with this. Okay, and even migrate an existing Android app to iOS. If you if you have an app which is in Android Jetpack Compose and you want to add iOS port to that. That thing is also available there. And even I have also covered few courses on my YouTube channel, Coding Ambitions. You can see. So this is about the so this is the Kotlin multi uh, sorry compose multi platform. Most of the things are covered here. If you see more than 22 videos are available there. This this video is also available. How you can migrate step by step on the YouTube. You can check out that. So Either you can start with this approach, they have suggested here all the steps. They will show you basic things as well about Compose Multi Platform. So you can start with this shared logic and UI. Here they will cover UI as well. If you want to share UI as well using Compose Multi Platform, you can start with this. Or another one can be I will what I will suggest is you should learn the Jetpack Compose first. And even before this, you should learn the Kotlin. You can check out the Kotlin official documentation as well if you want to learn from official docs. Otherwise, you can check out. I have this course on my YouTube Kotlin full course that is of almost six hours. It covers almost every topic in Kotlin that you need for Android, iOS, Compose Multi Platform, Kotlin Multi Platform, or backend development. Everything is covered here. It's very detailed. You can check out this one as well. So Kotlin is the prerequisite for this. Then, after you are finishing the Kotlin, then you can start with the, my recommendation is go with the Jetpack Compose basic concepts. You can go here. All the basic concepts are here in the official docs. Or even if you want to learn using the YouTube, there will be many tutorials available on the YouTube. And even you can find a playlist, complete playlist on my YouTube channel as well. If you wish, mostly basic things are covered here, starting from the beginning. Or you can learn from it whatever wherever you want to learn from the youtube there are many other resources are available okay and once you are done with the jetpack compose ui all the concepts are covered then you should move to the compose multi platform that is my opinion okay by this way your base basic will be strong and basics should be strong for any kind of learning technology right first kotlin then Jetpack Compose, then move on to the Compose Multiplayer. Then you can go through the tutorial they have covered here. Okay, so so basically we will discuss few other things as well. So that's about the like few things how you can get started. First the Kotlin, then you can start with the Jetpack Compose, then you can go on to the Compose Multiplayer. In Compose Multiplayer also there are few things which you should look for which are must 
to learn so after like whenever you will be working with the composite multi platform ui or not even sharing the ui just the sharing logic as well so then also you need to work with expect actuals in code okay so expect actuals are the most important topic that explains how you can use platform specific apis okay expected actual functions properties expected actual classes interfaces there are many ways you can or just sharing using the interfaces as well there are many ways so this topic is also very important expect actual using suppose there is something which you want to write using the android and ios specific codes then you can go in the platform source sets and just write the code there and then expect functions can be called just like normal functions you can provide their implementations if you see i will show you this is the expect function right you can define it like this then you can provide its implementation this is just defined using the expect keyword but its implementation are different in android source as source set in the android okay then in the ios then similarly you can provide it desktop web different implementation if you want then you can use this one in the common code just like this is a kotlin multi platform code it will automatically pick up the implementation depending upon the platform on which it is being used okay there are many cases happening whenever you will be developing where you need to write this even some for using some libraries as well like for some database library using the sql delight we need to set up sql i drivers using the expect actuals for platform specific code right so you should know about this code this is very must then so for navigation you can use the compose navigation that is completely similar to the jetpack navigation most of the things few differences will be there you can check out there in the note of docs official docs then similarly we have view model as well if you want to use the view model architecture if you are coming from android mvvm or using the view model then you can go on with this view model apart from this view model we have multiple other architecture libraries as well like decompose and we kotlin you can try them as well if needed depending upon your use case then we have everything internalization internationalization localization oh, and all of the, these topics are covered on my youtube channel as well on this compose multi platform playlist for networking you can use the ktor ktor client for server side you can use the ktor server even for ktor server also i have uploaded one tutorial that is of almost 2 plus hours it covers everything building the apis in compose so sorry building the apis using the ktor server in completely in kotlin that video covers everything about that you can check out that as well if you want to learn compose multi platform okay so on compose multi platform i have i have two types of courses so if you see i have one project based course as well if you see okay so if you go here and see this one this one is completely on the project basis this is just a chatbot in compose multi platform this is the complete recipe app in compose multi platform it covers every basic topic plus this project it's almost 10 hours you can check out this one as well if you want to learn using the project based learning but if you want to use the topic based learning then you can check out this playlist it completely covers almost all topics beginning from the starting okay so these are few things which are just the must know things about starting with this so that's all about this video guys now what are you waiting for just get started with the kotlin compose multi platform and start building the apps for android ios apps desktop web server everything using the compose kotlin multi platform and even if you don't want to use other platforms you can just start it with the even mobile at least so because it's android and ios for both it's stable now so you can start building the apps using if you want to share the ui you can use compose multi platform else you can use the kotlin multi platform using the native ui you can go on with that so this video is about the kotlin compose multi platform mostly so we covered its complete road map here mostly what are the main topics we need to discuss and so what libraries you should use and what are the most important libraries for other things we will be discussing them in the other video as well where i will be covering most of the important libraries for compose multi platform so that's all about this video guys i hope you have enjoyed it 
and if you have enjoyed it please please like share and comment on it to get more videos on my youtube channel like this so that's all about this video i will see you in another video till then bye bye take care have a great time keep coding